hello everyone so we are going to continue the same project what we done till now whatever we done so everything is okay now we need to connect the head office with the branch office so what we will do here we will take this cable and we can connect from here to here we will ask the isp isp will connect if it is not near but maybe we will take the virtual lease lane so isp will ask you okay you have the virtual lease lane whatever configuration you want to do you can do this is like a l2 circuit so we need to do that one so let me add the interface here here we don't have the line card so this is a new line card i am inserting because we have the port shortage so line card is nothing but the interface lc we are calling whatever the interface is suitable we will connect that after that i will connect and then we can power on the router this router we power on okay and let's see yeah now we need to do some configuration here to here also because this is a new subnet we connected so we need to configure ip also without ip we cannot transfer the data so let's put here some subnet i can say we can use in between 192.168.50 or 25.0/24 so this side will be 25.1 this side will be 25.2 so let me update here if you see where we are we are here in the r2 i will add one more interface here i will write interface f1/0 ip address and we will write 192.168.25.1 give space 255.255.255.0 and we will write no shut here and here we will advertise the ospf only till here to here and in this router we will do the redistribution this is a ospf here everywhere we are having so here also we can enable the ospf okay and here we will do the redistribution a router which is connecting to different routing protocol in that router inside that router we need to do the redistribution so here if i want to enable the ospf to this interface i need to do same thing first i will copy one interface and here i will modify this is the interface i will put this here an area should be zero here also because this is zero so here also we can use zero even if you use any other also it will work because it is connected to zero but anyhow as we have zero here so we will use zero only just i assign the ip to this interface i enable the ospf to this interface under this interface now i can copy and paste let me copy and paste inside this router so let's go here i will write enable config t and i will paste here then what i need to do i need to enable also so i will go here i need to put this command here so i put this command also here so this router configuration is done and now we need to do in the router 5 so i will go to the router 5 this is the router 5 where is the router 5 below if you see router 5 this one so here i need to add one more interface so i will add here i will write let me copy the same thing what we have here f0 by 1 so i will write here f0 by 1 and ip schema we will have 25.2 this one 25.2 and then what we will do here we need to do ospf here we don't have ospf before so i will write router ospf1 then interface f0 by 1 ip ospf1 area 0 this already you know how to enable so we done here so this thing i need to paste from here to here in the router r5 so we will go inside this r5 and i will i will go in the global configuration mode i will paste that configuration here so i pasted here everything is good now we need to do the redistribution in the ccna cisco did not put redistribution 
but we are doing in the ccna just for knowledge purpose so you should have the idea about the redistribution like if you have some root example this side you configure the ospf this side you have the rip so if you have this type of scenario the root will not go example here whatever the roots are going on here all the roots belongs to rip that root should go here and whatever the network you have here all that is in the ospf that should come in the rip this should go here inside the rip but it will not work it will not do automatically we need to do some configuration then only it will move from the ospf to rip and from rip to ospf the configuration we are doing to move that one we are calling redistribution redistribution we are doing so ospf root will go in the rip and rip root will go in the ospf so what we need to remember we need to remember if you are having this example this is a router one interface are in the ospf and another interface are in the rip so here you will get the ospf root and here same router you will get this rip root also but it will not cross from this side to that side and that side to this side so what we will do we will do the redistribution redistribution is a process in which we will send the one routing protocol route to the other routing protocol other routing protocol route to the this routing protocol what we will do in short what we can say we are converting all the ospf route into rip and we are sending in rip converting all that one and we will send here in the rip and all rip we are going to convert that into ospf and we will send here <coughs> so now we enable already we can go here in this router and we can check what route you are getting here in this router so we can go here and we can write here we can check here i can write here show ip route okay i can write here show ip route just to verify whatever the routes we are getting here i will write show ip route if you see here in this router we are getting the rip and osp of both routes we are getting here if you see here these routes o o means ospf i am getting the route from o and here ia oia means from different area if you remember we have the inter area intra area if you have inter area means different area you can see here ia if you are getting ia that is nothing but ospf inter area inter means different area so this one r5 one interface is in area 0 if you remember just now what we done here this is the r5 this interface are in area 0 so this side you are getting the root 